I'm here with head Alvernia men's lacrosse coach, Coach Carrington. What's your thoughts on today's game? Uh, you know, I thought that today's game, um, you know, we, we tried to slow the ball down. Widener is, is uh, you know, definitely the top team in our conference. Um, you know, this year they won the conference uh, tournament last year. Uh, very talented, in my honest opinion. You know, definitely a, a top 20 team in the country. Um, and I think they're going to do well in our conference tournament. And, uh, and, and you know, we're certainly going to root for them um, in the uh, in the postseason in the NCAA tournament as well. But uh, uh, I thought that our boys, you know, you know, you know, played pretty pretty uh, you know gallantly today. And you know, that we played a lot of zone today, a lot of junk defense, trying to slow the ball game down. Because again, we compete with uh, with uh, you know ten players this year, and um, uh, you know uh, Wider this year has a roster of forty players. So you know a, a pretty big differential. But um, at the same time, I think our guys did a good job of, uh, you, know, of you know operating our zone defense, and we had some hiccups here and there, and then we, we gave up some goals in transition. Um, you know, offensively, we really uh, you know could not possess the ball just with the uh, the pressure that uh, the Widener applied. But uh, I did like how our guys attacked pressure, and generated some nice shots on the goal, um, and, and our man up was was you know ten times better today than uh, than it's been you know for the last few games. Uh, I think that you know ultimately it's it's tough to end the season with uh, against two of the tougher opponents in our conference being uh, Eastern and Widener. Um, it, it's and you know the last two scores that uh, that we put up in our last games I don't think are very representative of. Uh, of, of where our program has come this season. I thought that um, over the course of this season, uh, the team has just done an unbelievable job in, in terms of uh, learning how to compete and, and going out and making every single ball game very competitive. You know, when you think about a team of 10 players, first of all, you know, I don't know if there are any other teams in the country that compete with 10 players. It's, it's pretty much unheard of. Um, you know, our guys did it because we, we didn't have much of an option this year. Uh, and I, I can't tell you how much, how, how proud I am of the character they displayed um, in being able to get out there and compete, not make any excuses, but, but just get out there and grind for the entire game, um, despite what the score may be, and uh, and really give a, a few teams, you know, some run, a run for their money. And, and some, you know, we were in some ball games that, quite frankly, we had no business being in. So. Uh, so again, I think it was tough to end the season, um, you know, the way that we did. But if you look at the larger body of work, uh, they did a fantastic job this year, and and you know, turned a lot of heads. And I can't tell you how many compliments I've received from from parents of uh, of you know of our opponents, from uh, uh, from uh, also the other coaches, um, and just you know the referees and, and bystanders, and just you know how hard the guys play, how hard they compete, and and you know, and how many people say, you know, I, I don't know if there are ten other people that could do what what, what our guys did. So I think we have a great nucleus. As you said, the season comes to an end today. What's your thoughts going into next season? Um, you know, next season looks looks very good. Um, you know, we're we're not going to be a big team. You know, next season, but we're, it's going to be a far cry from ten players. You know, we look to have about uh, a twenty-five man roster, and um, and you know the guys that we're bringing in. You know, we, you know we have some very athletic guys, um, and then on top of that, yeah, I think that defensively it is a very deep group. I think that we're going to you know you know turn a lot of heads you know next year defensively, and, and it's it's it, it's going to be pretty exciting to uh, to coach that group. Um, I think offensively we're bringing in some guys that again are very athletic. Um, and some guys that can really shoot the ball as well. We'll have to work with the guys in terms of you know learning our office of system, um, but uh, we can actually get back into running, um, you know, you know more. We want to be an up tempo team here. Next year we'll be able to do that. And, um, and again, with the uh, the system that we want to bring in here, we'll, we'll be able to operate that. This year we pretty much only had you know four guys offensively that um, you know that were you know traditional offensive players. You know the other guys that we'd stick on offense were pretty much converted defensemen or D middies. So. Um, so again, next year we'll, we'll have a lot more flexibility in terms of what we can do offensively. So very optimistic about about the way that we look next year, and um, I think the, the biggest piece to that is the work that these ten put in this year. Um, you know, if we had you know if the ten that we're bringing in are anything like the ten that we have now, it, we're going to be you know a, a pretty pretty uh, you know scary team to deal with next year. So we d we definitely look forward to that. And and again, I just want to uh, you know you know thank our guys again this season for. We're going above and beyond the call of duty. You know, ten players, unbelievable, and it's, it's a story that I'm certainly going to be telling, uh, you know, for the rest of my coaching career. And, and I hope that it's a story that you know stays relevant, um, you know, in the in the, uh, in the history books of Alvernia men's lacrosse, uh, you know, for years to come. So that you know, when this program is winning um, and bringing in the championships, which is what we've come here to do, um, they can always look back and think about the hard work that these ten put in. So um, I really want to thank them. Once again, Alvernia head men's lacrosse coach Rich Carrington. Thank you, coach. All right, thank you.